This hitch installation guide is for a Subaru Outback. The part installed in this video is U-Haul part number CQT75224. You will need the tools seen here to complete this installation. Hey, what's up everybody? The Subaru Outback is designed to take you to some really cool places in the world. Let's break down this simple hitch install and get you outdoors. Our first step to getting the hitch into place and mounted to the frame is we're gonna need to lower the two exhaust mufflers here. And these are gonna be held by exhaust hanger brackets or rubber hangers. And we have five of them, two on each side of the muffler, one down the center pipe here, and two on each side of the driver's side muffler. To expose the frame and the frame attachment points, we need to also lower the heat shield. Um, the heat shield is gonna be right above the exhaust muffler on each side. Before we lower the exhaust system here, I wanna go over a couple of quick tips. Um, the exhaust can get pretty hot, so we make sure it's cooled down. And it also gets pretty heavy, so um, before we take the exhaust hanger brackets loose, we want to go ahead and support it with a strap um, or a rope. Um, and the best place to do that is probably to a, any solid point underneath the body here. And, and I found that this cross member works pretty well. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and attach it to now. As you can see, we've got the strap on the exhaust pipe here and we've secured it to a pretty solid cross member here. Um, it's not to the sway control bar here or, or anything wires or sharp edges that, that's gonna cut the strap or do any damage to the vehicle. We're looking at the passenger side exhaust hanger here, the rubber portion. And to get these guys off, we can use, sometimes I'll use a pry bar for this video, I'm gonna be using exhaust pliers. And to make it a little bit easier, I'm gonna go ahead and spray it with some soapy water here. And we're gonna go ahead and continue to do the existing four rubber hangers um, on the passenger side, center piece, and driver side. Now that we have the five rubber exhaust hangers out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and lower the exhaust. I'm just gonna loosen up the strap here. I'm gonna kind of support the exhaust with my shoulder a little bit, and then we'll just come down with it. Nice and easy. And that's all we need there. As we mentioned before, just above the exhaust mufflers on both sides, We've got this heat shield, and to remove this heat shield, we're gonna be removing four 10 millimeter bolts, or um, you can also use a Phillips. Okay, so now that we have the exhaust heat shield removed, we can clearly see the vehicle's frame and the attachment points. Um, the, the attachment points here are covered with little dust covers to keep corrosion and grime and road dirt out of the frame here. Um, as you can see, I just simply pulled it away. And now we have a half inch hole here for our frame attachment point. And there's one more right up here. I'm gonna pull down for you. There we go. And we are working on the passenger side here and it is identical on the driver's side. So now that we have our attachment points exposed here, we we need to get our hardware inside the frame, down through the hole, so that we can put our hitch up and bolt it down. Um, this is kind of what we're looking at here. This is our plate that goes in here. Now, most vehicles are gonna have some type of access hole down the frame that, that you can fish wire a bolt buddy through and pull your bolt through. 
But on this vehicle, it, it just doesn't exist on either side. So what we're gonna have to do is make our own access hole. We're gonna go about two inches back of the exhaust heat shield bolt or nut there in the frame. I'm gonna use an inch and an eighth hole saw. Okay, now to get our hardware through the access hole and into our attachment point hole here, we're gonna take our bolt buddy head, we're gonna push it through. We're gonna take the threads and we're gonna thread it onto the bolt buddy here. I'll go ahead and push the spacer up above bolt and it's just simply pull we're gonna go ahead and leave the bolt buddy attached to the carriage bolt that way when we put the hitch up in place for whatever reason we accidentally push it up in the frame we don't lose the bolt in the frame so we can just if if we do happen to push it up we can just simply pull it right back down again and now we're gonna go ahead and do the most rearmost bolt here I'm going to put the bolt buddy head through the hole. Just kind of catch it as it comes through the access hole. I'm going to thread the carriage bolt, the one with the small plate going to the most rear. Thread that onto our bolt buddy. Okay. And then we're, we're going to pull, we're going to put our spacer plate up ahead of the bolt and again we're going to go ahead and just leave our bolt buddy onto the bolt that way we don't lose our hardware inside the frame and these these steps will be repeated on the driver's side exactly how we just showed you here okay to get the hitch up into position we're going to go ahead and feed our bolt buddies here through the forward attachment hole and the rear attachment hole and as we're going up the exhaust hanger rod is going to feed right through the cutout in the hitch. And the exhaust hanger rod is located directly above the rear bumper here next to your bolt buddy. And we did notice that the hitch inside of the hitch here is right about the same width of the two exhaust muffler rods. So we're going to go ahead and take off the exhaust rubber hanger keep it from getting in the way and just just makes it a little bit easier getting the hitch up into position now there's also a, a spacer that needs to go in between the top of the hitch and the frame so just to make things a little bit easier we're going to go ahead and tape the spacer here and we're just going to tape it right to the top of the hitch and that'll hold it for us as we're raising it up into position one tip here is you, you want to get an extra set of hands because it's pretty awkward trying to feed everything through on both sides and trying to hold it up at the 37 pound hitch. We're gonna go ahead and feed our bolt buddies here through the forward attachment hole and the rear attachment hole. I'm gonna go ahead and take one of the bolt buddies off here Put a nut on it just to give it some support okay now that we have the hitch supported we're going to go ahead and take our bolt body down from the carriage bolt and we're going to add the conical washer to it you can see that this conical washer has teeth on it we want the conical teeth going straight up to the hitch here And we're gonna do the same thing, the exact same thing on the driver's side. Okay, we got the hardware in place. So now we're gonna go ahead and torque the bolts down and the nuts. And we're gonna go ahead and do that at 50 foot pounds. Okay, so before we can raise the exhaust system back up, we need to get the heat shield back in place. Um, this portion here 
is where your frame runs along. And our forward bolt is going to be coming through right about this area here. So we're going to have to trim out a little bit here just so that we can get this heat shield back in place and bolt it up. We'll go ahead and cut this piece out. Okay, we're putting the heat shield back in place. And it's being held up by four 10 millimeter screws here, 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 and over here. The last thing we want to do is raise our exhaust back up and get the mufflers hung. Um, to do that, we'll need to get our hangers back onto the exhaust rods. Just go ahead and slide it up here. We'll do that exact same thing on the driver's side. Okay, and so that's the breakdown of the hitch install for the Subaru Outback. Um, you can see that this has a nice round tube stylish design goes into the two inch receiver tube here. It does not have a cap on the back here and that's to allow any dirt debris, road debris to um, pass through here and be able to be cleaned out pretty easily. Here we have a 5 8 inch hole for your pin and clip to hold in any accessories which also accepts uh, locking devices. Um, it also has Another forward hole here, and this, this forward hole is particularly for a J-pin lock that kind of, it goes through, the pin goes through here and then loops around and then you'll tighten it down and it, it keeps, it's an anti-rattle de device to keep the, your, anything that we have in this receiver tube from rattling around. We've got some really nice large tow hook holes here, chain, chain loops also. This hitch is also rated for 4,500 pounds trailer weight, 675 pounds tongue weight. And tongue weight is what is unsupported weight and it's, it's what's being pushed down right in this load zone right here. Once installed, this hitch will measure 14 and 3 quarter inches from the inside of the receiver to the ground, 6 inches from the pinhole to the end of the bumper, and 4 inches from the end of the receiver to the end of the bumper. To learn more about the product seen in this video, or to schedule an installation by a U-Haul Hitch professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.